What is the correct way to pronounce your stage name? That would be K Shy Day. Do people mispronounce this? A lot. I do too. But it's only because everybody else call, calls me K Shy Day instead of K Shy Day, but it's not a big deal. People misspell it as well? <laughs> when, they, when they're trying to pick on me. <laughs> you notice they mispronounce or misspell more? Um, mispronounce. Do you correct people when they're wrong? When it comes to my name? Yeah. When no. they mispronounce it? No, no, not at all. Why not? Some people are, they do. I, I say K Shade, but it's K Shy Day, but I say K Shade because it's easier for everyone else to say, so I don't mind it. Now, where did your stage name come from? My stage name came from my first initial and my middle name is Shade, Shade. So this is your government name? Yes, it is. And it's exactly like it's spelled, the stage name is exactly spelled like your government name, like it is on your birth certificate. Correct. Now, why did your parents name you this? What's the meaning behind that? <laughs> it's funny. My mom actually was told I was a boy. <laughs> And I came out and I was a girl and they already had names picked out in a, ha in a hat or something like that. But it was either if it's a boy, it's Kevin. If it's a girl, it's Kiera. So she chose Kiera and Sade is her favorite singer. So she chose Sade as my middle name. Now, Sade, the singer, her name is spelled S-A-D-E. Yes. Uh, why did she spell it the way did, that she did? Your mother. Um, she probably just wanted to be different. And... Uh, do you know the meaning behind, is it Kiera? Yes. That, okay. Do you know the meaning behind that? I know they um, drew names out of the hat, but do you know why that particular name by not, any chance? Not at all. Okay. And with your stage name, why short it to just K? Why not the full name? <laughs> that was, uh, I think that was Gucci's idea. Oh. <laughs> um, they gave me an option though. They said, do you want to be Kiera, Shade, or K Shade? And I chose K Shade. Prior to this, did you release any music under a different name? I did, as so many cons, but they didn't like it. <laughs> they didn't the, like the name. What was the meaning behind that name there? Um, so back in San Antonio, one day my friends were just playing, and there was like, so many cons, so many cons. They kept calling me that. So I said, okay, cool, I'm going to keep that name. And then it became like my name on Twitter, my name on Instagram, things like that. And... That's how I got that name. The meaning behind it, uh, I don't know. I think it was a joke and they were trying to be funny. So I don't know what it means, but I just kept it. Do you credit somebody for coining this in particular? Um, my friend Lil J <laughs> from San Antonio. How'd you two meet? Guy. Oh, wow. I met him because I was homeless. My mom kicked me out and I had nowhere else to go. So he had been a really big high school club promoter out in San Antonio. And he was like, well, my brother just moved out. You can come move in with me and my mom and dad. And I said, okay, cool. So I moved in with him for a little bit, but then they started making me like drive them around everywhere because I was the only one that could drive. So I left. What age or what grade was this? Oh, wow. Mm, age, I was definitely 19. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they were like high schoolers. And was this strictly a platonic relationship or was there like some sort of romantic vibe? At oh, no, 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 no. He was like my little brother. Like all of them were my little brothers, but they were like really heavy in the club scene out there. So they were just my, I treated them like my little brothers. And how did you meet this person? Was it an actual club gig? Um, I think I met him on online, probably like MySpace or Face. I don't, I don't remember, but we was, we were very connected in the music industry out there in San Antonio. So everybody knew everybody out there. So he had, had put me on with a show one day and yeah, he was just like, go, you, you can stay with me. So yeah, I had nowhere else to go. So why, why not? Was that show a show you had to pay to be on, a show you were paid to be on or was it like promo? No, it was definitely promo. Yeah. Now, how does this conversation happen where they did, you know, Gucci or whoever at 1017 didn't like your stage name or had a, you know, wanted to change it. How did that even come about? 
Um, just the a our A and R. He said, "Hey, we don't like so many kinds. It needs to be changed." And I tried to explain the meaning of it, and no one liked it. So, but I agreed upon it. I was okay. Yeah, that makes better sense. I'd rather have something that's a more per personal name than a made-up name, I guess. Did you take any offense to it? No, not at all. Because for some, you know, stage name is a big deal. Yeah. Maybe historical purposes around that. You know, there's some people that probably never want to change their name mm -hmm. uh, and may take offense yeah. to a conversation of that nature. Mm -hmm. So just curious, you know, what you were thinking and where your head was at with that. And uh, it answered my next question because when it comes to recording artists, you know, some recording artists in music will use part of their government name for their stage name, and some have an alias that has mm -hmm. nothing to do with their government name. Some stay away from that. Yeah. So you explained, you know, the different path to get to where you are. So just curious on that. But uh, when it comes to your current stage name, mm -hmm. uh, anything crazy in regards to your stage name, anything crazy that's happened uh, in regards to the stage name, any anything out of the norm, other than people just mispronouncing it? No, okay. nothing out of the norm. Just curious. And with everything considered, any regrets or remorse with the name change? Not at all. 